Morning. Good morning. From Arden Tinney Beach, my favourite stop of all time ever. Yeah, it's really good. Really it is nice. lovely here. This is the first of the Scottish like forests you can stay in, which we've ever stayed in. It was supposed to be free quid. No, this one is free. Some of them oh. charge. I did look it up. Some of them charge. The only problem with them is, I think it says you're only meant to be here from 6 p.m. till 10 a.m., which I didn't know. We got here a lot earlier than that. Yeah. Um, but um, we didn't put I filled anyone out. out. Oh no! <laughs> I filled out a questionnaire and it asked questions and stuff, and I, su oh, I did. It, I it asked for suggestions. I says, well, I suggest you should let people stay here a bit longer. Yeah. Six o'clock's a bit late, and isn't it? And a hose it? and a toilet disposal. And oh, a don't bin. push his luck. No, I'm happy. It's got a bin. Are you it's got the toilets. Over there, look. Uh, That's quite cool, isn't it? It's all paint, spray painted. Don't know. We're going to drive past it in a minute, so there we'll be able to see it. There was quite a few of us here, wasn't there? I think more yeah. turned up last night. Really nice spot, yeah. honestly. If you're in the area, stop here. It is yeah. beautiful. Right. Um, busy day again today. Busy day. We're off to Inverary. Yep. And then we're off to a campsite. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> um, need to get some shaving cream. My, my razor's run, like, running out. Yeah. I left my lead at my mum's, so it's actually done very well. It's gone yeah. about six weeks or something. <laughs> um, but I've left my lead at my mum's, so... So we've got to get a bit of sharpening. Yes. Um, what else is there? Got to keep an eye out for a can of gas. Gas has just, just gone. That lasted us ten weeks. Wow. So that's Minimum. done well. So I've worked out, Mazza, the one I've just hooked up, that yeah. should last us till about Christmas Day. <laughs> so we'll wait and see. <laughs> right, let's you move. You do know the weather's getting colder now. Yeah, we're probably... <laughs> although we're getting a diesel eater very, very soon, Mazza. Yes. Yes. Right, let's go. 49 minutes to Inverary. Yay. Even had someone in their tent last night. There's that fan that's all spray painted. See it? <laughs> it's welcome, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful here. You loved it, didn't I you? I really do like it here. Yeah. I'm hoping I can find somewhere like this for us and Neil and Emma. Yeah, that'd be For the perfect. day when they're doing the diesel eater. What's that say there? Stop at night? Something to do with stopping over at night. Yeah, I've, I took a picture of that yesterday. Oh, did you? That's where I got the information from. You just scan a, a QR code and it takes you to the website. But yeah, this one's actually free. Felt very safe here. Oh yeah, safest I've ever felt. Wild camping. I didn't get a chance to turn the Fujio on, but they did have a lovely, um, well, it looked quite new actually, toilet um, unit for toilet facilities, even catered for disabled. And they have this bin store, bins for your visitors use. That's absolutely brilliant. Quite impressed, where's he going? Oh, it's probably more in the boat. <laughs> It's a long way <laughs> to Inverary. It's this is a long take two. way to go. I keep forgetting to press record. Oh. So we're in Inverary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the weather isn't on our side. No. It's supposed to stop in 40 minutes. Whether it will, I don't know. <sighs> so we're going to have a look around Inverary. We can't go to the castle, which is beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. And it's actually shut for winter. You can yeah, still go around the garden for seven pounds, but oh. not doing that. Yeah. Each that is. Oh really? Just to look at a garden. Oh, it'd be lovely in the summer, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. But not yeah. on a day like today. <laughs> so we're going around Inverary. There's Inverary Jail, which we don't know if we've been to before or not. Yeah, I think if we have been, we're going to save our pennies. I don't know if you'll, <laughs> if we'll know. I think I'll know once we get there, but to, to be honest, this don't even look familiar. N no, well, we've definitely not driven we've, through there before. No, we might have driven through the village. We've definitely been through the village. But we've not, I don't think we've stopped. So we're actually at the top of the next peninsula now. Looks like a willy. Um, the Campbelltown Peninsula, or the Campbelltown willy. Um, yeah. Inverary, let's have a look around. So you've got Inverary, wooden mill and coffee shop there. It is Sunday, so I'm guessing everything's going to be shut. Oh, you're a bit rainy. I'll turn you off. Come back to you in a bit, yeah? There he's off. We've just noticed a sign here, somewhere there. But this is actually motorhome car parking. 
And as we've just seen a bus and an Arctic lorry go in there, we, we're going to move. The other two campers can do what they want, can't they? I don't know if you have to pay. Yeah, it looks like you have to pay. That's fine. Let me just give you a quick swish round. I'm seeing a lovely boat over there. Oh, I've just noticed in this window, look, it's Gizmo again. Oh, he's all over the place. Here you go, you can find Gizmo. Let him know. He must really love him. <laughs> I just noticed here a sign. It's called Oh Sugar. Uh, um, I guess it's like a shop at the top of the main street. And it's all uh, american -y stuff, isn't it? I love the Cheetos, so I must, must see if we can find that shop. What have we got here? There's a reason I didn't park in there. So I looked on Google Maps and I studied where I could park. And it did say cars and light vans only. So I thought that probably means up to like one and a half ton. So I didn't go straight to that. But there is a sign there saying motorhomes. Yeah. yeah, well, at least we're in the right one now. Um, Have you, you done have house prizes? Yeah. Is it expensive? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. didn't show these guys, but yeah, I've looked. Yeah, it's a pound an hour. That's all right. I've yeah. put three pound on. You can't stay there overnight. Yeah, that's I'm going to give you a wipe now. Bye-bye. Oh, I just spotted it. What? This kind of glass art. Glass Look art? at this. This is beautiful. I didn't see any of that, to be honest. I, look, I did see the art art. The heart art. Yeah. Um, the thing I noticed was the hat there with the Highland cows oh, on it, yeah, Can you see so that? Cute. Some yeah. really nice hats in there for ladies. <laughs> yeah, this. Oh, yeah, some really nice pictures here. I do like it with tiny little beads on there. Yeah, that's cute. Chief of the clan. They're oh. good, aren't they? The way they've been carved out. What is it about Scottish things? I just love oh. it. It's never oh. tat. It's never tat when you're in Scotland, it's always <laughs> quality. These are lovely. And all these bases are made uh, from whiskey barrels. It's paperless. Would you like one sent to your email or phone? No. Oh my god! Oh, we need one. It's a haggis. Can't you tell? A haggis? Yeah. A real one. Oh, he's so nice, isn't he? We could have him on our dashboard. Yeah, a real one. Well, you can get fortune. Check that out, Mazzy, for a sausage roll. Yeah. Canna, 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 yeah, canna, go on. canna. Was it called Brambles? Yeah. Well, we're a bit disappointed. It's very small. It is lovely. We were hoping to get two videos out of here, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, one round the town. Town tour, yeah. village tour of Inverary and the Inverary jail. But yeah. It's a very, very small village. And it's Sunday and there's nothing going on. No one around. Yeah. Um, like an eerie feeling. Little fountain here with money in it, Mazzy. Yeah, they're people's wishes. Very trustworthy around here. <laughs> Mazzy's just said, and she's probably right, this must have been like the old courthouse. Probably the town hall now. Um, just next to Inverary Jail, which is where we're going now. I've just booked online. If you go in, people, book online, you save a pound it per person. Yeah. It takes you ten minutes to fill the forms out, but yeah. <laughs> Family Butchers, try our famous homemade pies and sausage roll. I would love to, but it's shut. It's a oh, shame. Yeah. What haggis in a tin? Oh, that's mangy. A tin of haggis. <laughs> Vegetarian haggis. Mm. We'll just notice the Butchers is closing next week, probably for winter. We're definitely getting in the remote places now because even the businesses aren't bothering opening because there's not going to be anyone it's around. It's not on though for the locals, is it? You know, there ain't much around. I'm sure there's <laughs> another bakery, another butcher's. Butchers. And there is a big, well, pretty big co op because we're going to be going there on the way after here. Oh, okay, right. Well, we weren't expecting to do this, so. Let's do it. Yeah. At least we'll stay dry. 
first thing what surprises me. Yeah. Dogs are allowed in here. Oh, that's good. I did see a picture online with a dog inside. I thought that can't be right, but yeah. No, that's really good, isn't it? Dogs, welcome. It does look real. Are you sure it's not? I bet it's stuff. Oh, right. They do have like an in what is it? Interactive guide you can take from the desk. But we've chose just to read the signs. Yeah. Makes it more interesting, doesn't it? If you We've definitely not been here. I don't know, I still think we might have been you here. You might have done. No, no. together. I've got a feeling we've been here. No chance. That's where we're going wrong nowadays, Mother. Well. 300 years ago, very few people went to prison. Just people who were convicted of murder or serious theft. Other people were fined, banished, whipped through the town, branded with a hot iron or nailed by the ear to the gallows. They should have carried that on. Don't be stark. Well, so they've got this guy. Big problem, haven't they? I haven't read the story, but for stealing two horses, I'm guessing he's ended up like that, yeah? Yeah. That's terrible. Well, if they carried it on, those jails wouldn't be full, would they? Then you've got this dude, Mazzy. They branded yeah. him. They put a big T on his cheek to know that he was a thief. Yeah. I think that's a really good idea. Keep yeah. it up. That's sick. You know, you get these rappers now in America, in America they do that for fun. It's a bit freaky, isn't it? They look real, half of them. There's only two real people in here, but one or three. This is exactly how it looked 170 years ago. It's not changed. That judge is looking at you. He is, isn't he? He's going to do you for having a camera. He's yeah. definitely looking at me. Now we're yeah. talking, Mazzy. Come on. Sweet at prisons. You go first. It's scary. Yeah, this is the probably the real steps going down to the real prisons. Oh, that's horrible for isn't it? <laughs> so these things are exercise yeah, look at the size of them. Am I actually surprised though that they thought of their health and safety kind of thing, not safety but well, health, then. and give them a bit of exercise, yeah, I'm surprised they allowed that really. Mm. Any on you? So the old prison yeah. from 1820, it says up to 24 men, women and children have been here in just eight cells. So they'd all be mingling together? Like oh yes, be like yes, they'd all be stuck together. Yeah. That's horrible. Exactly where you are now. Sarah Campbell, she stole the boat. She died in here from epilepsy. Yeah, people dying, has it? I was just reading, some people have escaped as well. Have they really? Yeah. Oh, just after the prison was built, three prisoners made their escape. Mm. Um, 
more songs that have done it, more songs. Yeah, I suppose what did, yeah, which I didn't realise till on the way here. So, yeah, we must watch that tonight. Yeah, so where we're stood now, Derek Akara has probably lied in this very, very cell. Yeah. <laughs> and this was the washroom. Tell you what, it's better equipped than some campsite, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's true, yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad washroom. There's some original writing up here. Yeah, that's interesting. I uncovered this in 1984 when they were restoring it. Some writing here with names. And it is somebody called Hugh Curry who wrote it in 1820, just when the, just when it was opened. Just imagine all the walls were covered in writing and stuff, weren't they? Yeah, I was just reading they used to use candles and instruments to graffiti the place. Yeah. I was just looking at this window. Look at the trumpets and the trombones and the ditch, the naming. Look, this carving is over 150. Wow, that's lovely, isn't it? Both. 150 year old. Beautiful. Oh! Mazzy, stop oh. looking. Stop looking. Is he on the toilet? He's on the toilet, yeah. Because uh -huh. he looks like someone I know. <laughs> Don't know how well he can even see this. That's so sad. The children would have been locked up in here for theft and things like that. She would go on a cry. But this is probably how dark it would have been. And this is daytime. Yeah. So we'll just have these candles like this. Um, your eyes would go really bad, wouldn't they? This door is shut as well. I can't shut it. But this really would be dark, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because it's it your dark. eyes cranky, wouldn't it, after a while? Because it, I'd like it, I'll be honest. But the little beds, though, that's not good, is it? Birds? Beds. Beds, what? Yeah, exactly, you're mistaking. Oh, that's a bed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, insane. I, I knew it before I got there. I said she's, in, she's got to be insane. What can you say? I can just see. Oh, my good lord. She look, or he? She? I don't know. I think he's a man behind a woman who's insane. I don't know what's going on in there. Well, apparently there weren't no place for the insane. They were here until 1863 when um, the asylum was open. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, gosh. What's wrong with me? So we're in a cell with mummy and baby. Yeah. <laughs> Mothers were allowed to keep children with them until the 12 month old. I think that's nice. Is that nice or is that no, horrible? Yeah, I don't you know. You come here for a nice six-month holiday, and you've got to bring your but you screaming might... kid with you. But you, what? <laughs> Aww. No, I, I, I won't want my twelve-month-old kid with yeah, me. It's not nice to split mummy and kids up, is it? I stayed in a room above a pub in Stranra, which were worse than this. I'd be quite happy in here. Striking young man, aren't you? Coal bunker. Oh, I see. It's actually got a flag. Scottish yeah. flag up there now. So that bit we just took you in was the entire prison back in the 1820s to 40s. That's 40. the old one. The old prison. So yeah. they only had 24 prisoners <laughs> in the entire yeah. jail. You'd think they'd need more, wouldn't you? Yeah, so then in 1841 they built a new jail. Are we going to see that? Yes. Oh! <laughs> and in 1843 they built these yards, exercise yards. Airing yards. Where they'd get an hour a day and they weren't supposed to talk to each other, it says there. It's not I bet bad. they did. I'm sure they talked to yeah. each other. It's not bad. Well, they'd do sign language, wouldn't they? <laughs> well, no, has it? Because there's a wall in between them. So no. But there would be like probably 50 people in one. No, there would not be one. One? Well, I don't know. They're not that generous, are they? So these coal bunkers, there's another one here. Yeah. And it would have been filled pretty much to the top and be sloping down here. And apparently a 15 year old back in 1857 actually climbed up the coal, jumped over the wall and escaped. Yeah, apparently he was captured again the next day. How do you know? 
there. He was recaptured the next oh, day. Don't tell them we're reading signs, Matthew. Oh, no. We want them to think we're clever. Hey, look, you're going to love that. <laughs> oh, we've got us on island cow. Oh, yes. Now, if this was my museum, though, Mazzy, I would have a real island cow in there. Yeah. Tell them, look, what's this then? Milk for porridge. Oh, in 1850, the governor brought in a cow to give a regular supply of milk. The prison board didn't approve, and in 1851, so just a year later, they told him to get rid of the cow. And um, what were you asking for about four o'clock this morning? I don't know, what? Scottish po porridge. You were asking me for porridge. Oh, yeah, some nice <laughs> Scottish oats for my, birth for my birthday, for my breakfast. <laughs> I didn't get it. Police house. Used as a police station right up until 1954. God, my mother was nearly born then. <laughs> Don't give her age away. <laughs> Come on, Mazda, let's give this a go. Are you not whipping me? It says, please try. No, it's your turn. No, I'm going to tie you down on that. Me with it that. tells you to try, Mother. You've got to try if it tells you to try. Do not. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to look like on there. Oh, so your arms go down there. Yeah. I think we should try it, Mother. Come on. Don't bounce down. <laughs> but they were very kind. Why? Very kind. So the the birches, the whips, yeah. had to be a certain, they couldn't be over a certain length or weight. Yeah? I'm sure the longer the better though, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. But you could only have them a certain length. Um, whipping boys had to be no longer than 40 inches. And you're only allowed a certain amount of whips. 12 for people under 14 years old and 36 for them over 14. I want to give it a go, cool, Massey. Come on. Yeah. I do like that in each. Cell it gives you little stories about people who have been in here. Yeah. It tells you their story. Like he looks like an ice baton, doesn't he? David Wallace, a fire raiser. Interesting stories. Probably the most famous person who's been in here, has he? Hey. Danny Dyer. Danny Dyer. Yes. <laughs> if you get sent to prison here, has he? Yeah. What you want to do is put weight on. Well, yeah, I was just reading. There's some funny sort of statistics going on here, isn't there? If you're a man over 12 stone, or a woman over 11 stone, you got an extra ounce of cheese and four ounces of bread. So they just, you just want to be fat, didn't you? <laughs> the warden's room. I've just realised, Mazzy. Yeah? The warden didn't go home at night. He had his own bed. This is his room. He lived here. Yeah. You'd get fed up with listening to that lot all night, though, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, you would. Banging and shouting. I, I think I'd be a very, very angry one. <laughs> I think you would up. be, yeah. I'd be getting my whip out on him every day. <laughs> but imagine, you know, all right, you're getting paid, what, 20, 25 shillings a week? He only got 15. People working at the our girls' estate. Oh, right. But, let's be fair, he's getting a free bed for that as well, isn't he? Yeah, but look where his bed is. It's a prison cell. Well, he's chose the job, isn't he? <laughs> Again, still better than my room, though. What do you mean you're better than your room? Well, it's bigger, isn't it? <laughs> so that's the original water closet and wash basin. From the eight, from 1848. Let's have a look. The originals. God, imagine all the criminals who've been on that throne and washed the dirty hands in there. So it's telling us about kids who've been done in here. Yeah. The young lad here, Donald McDonald. The most wonderful name in the world ever. He got done aged 10 for stealing 12 pounds of cheese from a shop in Dunoon. Now, personally, I think that's quite a serious offence because I saw the price of that cheese in that shop in Dunoon. <laughs> got the fortune. 
<laughs> it's interesting reading these stories because it, it seems that all the kids that get sent here for 10 to 14 days in prison and then three years or something like that in a proper like Boston, I suppose, like a yeah. naughty boy school. So they didn't spend long in prison. What's this one? It looks like it's got a little poem or something. No, that's the stuff she nicked. Oh, she stole that stuff. Yeah. A boy's dicky. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's a crank machine. <laughs> Completely useless. Mm. It'd record every time you did that. And the prisoners would have to do it 14,400 times a day for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Oh, that's terrible. But it had a, a dial on it so the warden knew if he'd done it or not. Um, You'd have strong arms though, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's like an ex doing exercise. It's a good all exercise. Day, isn't it? I've yeah. done three terms and I'm, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Again, we're just redoing this. The trap wheel. You see what's going on here? Yeah. Yeah. And you had to keep climbing and climbing as you fall. Just another form of useless. Yeah, just unproductive work. But I just said here, the first treadmill was installed in Paris Edmonds. And it's still there to this day. Is it? Where yeah. is it then, I wonder? There's about 50 thugs in Bury St Edmunds after going on that every night. <laughs> yeah. This is my, yeah, this is a good one. Shot drill. Yeah. You couldn't bend your knees and you had to pick up a cannonball, uh, bring it up until it was up to your chest, take three steps to the right, put it back on the ground. Yeah. And then do it all over again. Useless. Completely and utterly useless. Just a way of giving them exercise, I suppose, and doing the reds in, you know? Punishing them. Mm. Problem prisoners. Violent and mad prisoners. Oh, it's like that guy we just come across. <laughs> Restraint jacket. This was used. To restrain violent prisoners before they were strapped in. Normally, for no longer than 24 hours, they're in the prison. 24 hours in that? No you, you that would make you go insane, would it? 24 hours? Why not bed? <laughs> uh, I would love it in here, honestly, it's like a butlins. Well, I think we're on the top floor. No, we're not. Aren't we? No. Oh, my legs are hurting. <laughs> what is this then? This is where the surgeon would be. Surgeon? Yeah. To surgeon people, Mazzy. Well, people I suppose they'd be surgeon. sick, wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they just send them to a hospital? Well, no, not necessarily to do things, but they did all have to be checked health-wise once a week. Oh. So things like weight, boring stuff like that. Oh, I see, yeah. Uh, can hear some prisoners going right off on one. Oh, exercising gallery. Well, that's another of them stupid things. Yeah. They made them do, isn't it? Just pick pieces of wool apart or something, a string. Usually, you know, sorry, ropes. You know, yeah. like just ship ropes, it. and just pick it all apart. Completely useless. Oh, yeah. Why didn't they, you know, they wanted them to be busy all day, make them construct it. I don't know, like proper work. I don't know. You know, fixing roads or gardens. <laughs> this has been freshly painted. It smells of pain. But as you are sniffing, I do imagine this place would have stunk. Why? Well, apparently they're only allowed to wash their trousers and coats once a month. It's enough. It's more than I do mine. <laughs> don't be disgusting. <laughs> you can tell them whatever you want, but I know the truth. <laughs> Something useful, Mazzy, making herring nets, which what? the prison board would sell to local fishermen. That's the kind of work I'm talking about. Yeah. I'll just show you these what Dad's selling. We're guessing they're ventilation systems. No, the I are. Well, you think it's just for sweeping down the floors when they're so washing them. So we'd have them. to scrub all the floors down and just 
push all the water down and do a level at a time. So it's for ventilation as well? Oh, both. And this is a modern prison, look. Oh. You know, that would be like the best bedroom I've ever had. It's all right, mate. That is beautiful in that. How's it going, Gary? Look at that, he's got a big television, like a DVD player or something. PS2, tobacco, crisps and coke. Spoiled oh, rotten. Spoiled. What is that? Okay. This is nice. Don't really know what's going on. So these are real criminals then, aren't they? Yeah, I was just reading this. These are the last prisoners of the jail. Ah. Yeah, you get a feel for them. It's showing, you know, stories and pictures of prisoners and stuff, things they've done. There's a woman here, Eliza Thorpe. Turns out she didn't do it. She was found not guilty and released. But her picture's here in the jail. Just to let everyone know that they thought she did it. That ain't fair, yeah, is it? that's not fair. You know, that's somebody's great, great, great grandma and they might come here. She's always going to be known, isn't she? So if people damaged their own clothing, they'd have to wear something like this, which was a very stiff canvas jacket. And I've always wondered, you know, them arrows on them, Mazzy? Yeah, that's, like... That's to show someone who's do, doing hard labour for a long, 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 long time. Oh, really? I can relate to that, Mazzy. That shocked me. <laughs> That's what my water looks like when I have a bath. <laughs> Look at the tap set. Looks like you've got to pop 20p in before you have a bath, doesn't it? I better be nice and warm here, though. As warm as you want it to be. Depends how much coal you want to throw in there. Yeah. Oh, it's scrappy, isn't it? What do they call prison vans, Mansi? Is it a Black Mariah? I don't know. No, I think no, that's what they know. call them. Well, this is an old one. <laughs> it's the kind of thing the child catcher were caught in, wasn't he, in Chichi Chichi Bang Bang? Oh, here's something about it, here. Oh, the children were. It's a prison bus. A prison bus. Same yeah. thing. Look, you can show them the prisoner in the back. Do you want me interesting fact of the day, Mazzy? Yeah. Come on, then. Get it on me, get it on me. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to like this one. I did say Black Mariah, didn't I? Yeah. Um, I found out where the word Black Mariah comes from. Yeah. Massachusetts, right? There were a woman called Maria, Maria Lee, and she had a lodging house and there were a lot of criminals in there, so she'd grass them up to the police. And the police were there so often, their horse and cart became known as the Black Mariah after Maria. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah. So it's an American thing, Black Maria, Black Mariah. I like that. Learned some of today. So I'm not sure what Tommy Cooper did wrong, but he got done at some point. Aww. And you were just saying this was a garden shed? Uh, yeah, it was a garden shed in the 1930s, and then it, uh, somebody used it as one. And then back in the 1990s, they con somebody converted it back to how it originally should be. Fantastic. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Are these real then? Yeah, they absolutely are. Look, we've got the original door keys. They're huge, aren't they? Look at that, the original front door key. Who doesn't carry that around? Yeah, and then these Straight are... Straight jacket from the jail. Yeah, I bet they're actually quite heavy, aren't they? Yeah, look at um, Drinking vessels. Cups. Which is interesting. An original uh, uniform. Brilliant. I like it when they show the prisoners uh, meals, Mazzy. Just porridge, isn't it? Exactly. I wanted the porridge this morning, I couldn't have any. But the prisoners back in 1820 used to get something. Yeah, but you, you, That's how badly I get treated every day. You, you get a menu, they oh, don't. Yeah. That's just what they get. You could have had crumpets this morning. Uh, you chose yeah. porridge. Oh, yes. What about I didn't get any? <laughs> <laughs> So, Inverary Jail, what did you think? So good. Very I good. I really enjoyed that because a lot of the structure itself in the building is original. Well, it's all original. You know, you even get that original smell, you know, it's a bit fusty, musty. And... That were me. <laughs> and actually, we did go into one room and this fella had just. Yeah, okay, it let's off not go into details. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, it was really good. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, well worth 11 quid or whatever each, absolutely. Yeah.
as I say, remember to uh, book online, you save a pound per ticket. Yeah. Okay. We literally booked it one minute before we walked yeah, through the door. There. <laughs> yeah, just there. Well, why not? A pound is a yeah, pound, yeah. isn't it? Pay for your parking or whatever, yeah. Um, <laughs> and a girl there on the way out says, do you do YouTube? What's your channel? So if you're watching this, hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> we, do, we show everything we get up to whilst we're up in Scotland. Yeah, that was fun. Really right. good. <laughs> we're heading, I think that's it for Inverary, is it? Well, we've just got to go around this corner. We might see something else. Yet. Yeah, well, you didn't go down this no. high street. No, let's, let's just bit, do this bit. Turn them around, show them how big the high street is. This is it. Yeah, this is <laughs> it. The old high street. Lovely building. I think it's a guys. church now, actually, Mazzy. It's got a. Yeah, it looks like a church now. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that was the courthouse. Bit of info. Never heard of him. Never heard of the novel. Um, but someone might be interested in that, so we're going to put it in the video. Well, show them the house then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this is the house. <laughs> so, Isle of Arran ice cream in there. You never did get to try it. I know, I, I can't remember the last time I had ice cream. I never get ice cream. Yeah. We've got some very unusual things in here. So we're hoping for some pretty unusual sweets. Sweet memories. Got some wonderful things in there. We've got a right bag full, haven't we? <laughs> We've got a bag full. Just a quick glance though. Quick. We're gonna try them when we get back. <laughs> get out! A few Scottish <laughs> things, traditional yeah. Scottish things and some not traditional Scottish things. Are we is there anything down there? To be honest, Matt, we have had enough. Have you? I just want to get on the campsite. We've got a cozy. live today as well. We've got to go shopping. We've got to go shopping, yeah, because I'm making a cosy dinner. Yeah, right, come well, on, we've had this fun. Then. Yeah. Yeah, we couldn't. We had to do the entire part. <laughs> so we've just come so to the end. So we've come to the end and yeah. just had a look up here. Beautiful bridge over there, which we drove over. Um, you've got the clouds here, which are all lying down having a rest. Beautiful. A boat here called the Vital Spark. And that is about the end of Inverary. Really nice village. It is. Really nice. It's not really the end of Inverary, obviously. Uh, I don't know if that's original, I'm guessing, I don't know. Very nice. nice. Lots of money have been, has been thrown down there. And the little stone says, boys on tour. <laughs> okay. That is definitely the end of yeah. Inverary. So thank you for joining us yet again. Yeah, see you again tomorrow. See you Don't again know what tomorrow. We're doing. <laughs> um, yeah, how many marks out of ten for Inverary? Ten. ten. We love Inverary. We love Scotland. Yeah. We'll see you all tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye bye. bye.